The question we get asked the most on social media. When posting any Apollo mission photos is, why are there no stars? So here is a quick explanation. Stars are very dim. But the lunar surface was very bright. All of the photos captured on the lunar surface were taken with a camera mounted on the astronaut's chest, at a shutter speed of 1 250th of a second. This was because the bright sunlight was hitting the lunar surface with no filtration by an atmosphere and reflecting off the light-colored terrain, Apollo hardware and the astronaut's suits. Here is a typical Apollo photo captured at 1 250th of a second by Neil Armstrong of Buzz Aldrin. Stars on the other hand, are extremely dim, and would require a shutter speed of anywhere between 5 seconds to 20 seconds. So in a mere 1 250th of a second no stars will be captured. Of course the astronauts did not go to the moon to take photos of stars, but if they did, then at the long exposures required, the astronaut would need a tripod and a timer or shutter release cable. So here we have simulated what an Apollo photo would look like if the astronaut had wanted to capture stars, in a 10 seconds exposure, and had brought a tripod and a timer, plus Neil Armstrong would have needed Buzz to keep very still for 10 seconds. As you can see, stars are now visible but everything else would be so totally bleached out that the photos of the lunar terrain and astronauts would be completely useless. Plus the glow from the bright terrain would start to drown out the stars anyway. I hope this helps to explain why there are no stars in Apollo photos. It's not rocket science, just basic laws of photography. Perhaps part of the problem is that sci-fi movies always show stars and even colorful nebulae alongside brightly lit spaceships and planets, but the irony for moon landing deniers is that the lack of stars in Apollo photographs actually helps to prove the moon landings were real, and not vice versa. Thanks for watching.